Hi, welcome to the first tutorial on this channel. My name is Rafiq. I help scientists in creating illustrations for communicating their research work. Few months back, one of my friends from Isa Trivandrum, Dr. Vincent Babu, messaged me. He is about to publish his research paper, Can We Create a Cover Art? So we created a cover art using Blender and we were really happy how it turned out. I have something really interesting to show you on that cover art. Let me show the cover art very quickly. You can see the illustration here. So let me explain the story behind this illustration. So he studied electrochemical kinetics of sodium plus ions in brown titanium dioxide nanotubes by varying its crystallinity. So the idea is very simple. So this is his material. You can see a fluffy hairy ball here which is colored in pink and you can see one more structure here which is colored in green color. This has higher number of hairy like structure and less crystallinity and here we have lesser number of leaflet like structure here which makes it better in crystallinity compared to this. So this is crystalline in nature, this is less crystalline in nature. So let's have a look at the supporting information of that paper so you'll get an idea how the material actually looks like. So this particular study is from Professor Shaijumon lab at Isa Trivandrum. I'll put a link in the description if you are interested you can read the research paper. So here we have high resolution 10 microscopy images of the material. It is very interesting. You can see that this one has a really hairy like structure. This one is less hairy like in nature. If you look at the zoomed versions of that image, you can see these fine strands of that nanotubes. This makes it very easy to guess how we can actually create a 3D model of this. Nothing but hair particle system. So let me show you that. So the idea is to generate something which is hair like structure but few of them are clumped together which makes this hair like structure and here we have better clumping so that we have lesser hair like aggregations which we can call as leaflets. Now let me show you the blender project file of the cover art illustration so you will get a better idea. Alright, here you can see the project file of the illustration that we made. You can see the hairy like structure here. We have batteries and entire lighting was done. Let's have a closer look at this structure so that we can find out how using hair particle system we can create something like this. So this is nothing but a hair particle system applied on a sphere. If you look closer you can see individual hair particles, these hair strands. And we have around 110 hair particles here and here we have similar particle system but higher number of particles. Let me quickly open up a new project file and show you how actually this was made. So let's delete this default cube, press X, delete. Add a new sphere, shift A, mesh, UV sphere. Add a new particle system on top of this. The idea is add a hair particle system and make them clump together and create a slight displacement so that it will form a leaf like flat structure. And it is very interesting and very easy to do. Let me go to particle settings. Here you can see a plus icon click on that so that it will add a particle system. By default it will add a emitter particle system. Change that to hair particle system. So immediately you will see these hair particles. You can see these hair strands which are called particles and for this we need physics properties. For that you need to turn on this advanced option. Now you don't see any physics property here. When I activate advanced option you can see that we have physics here. So first of all go down and expand this children menu. Click on that then you will see three options. None symbol interpolated. We will go with interpolated. So as soon as you turn that on you see more number of hair particles. Basically we added children hair strands around the hair strands we had earlier. For every hair strand we have children surrounding them. So increase the display amount from 10 to 100 so that we have dense hair particles surrounding the sphere. And let's change the number of the particles from 1000 to 100. And you can see an option called clumping below children. That is exactly what we want to create. Open up and you can see two options. 
first one is clumping change that value from 0 to 1 and we are almost there you can see that a bunch of hair particles are standing together and joining at a point and forming this sharp ends we need this to be slightly flat instead of pointy for now we have this very pointy we need something flat like this so if you look at the temp images you can see that the structures has it has an area and a flat end so to create that there is an option called roughness expand that there is a setting called uniform increase the uniform value and you can see that it is actually displacing look at here you can see the change happening live choose an optimum value which you are happy with we don't want that to be very dislocated i think this is okay and now we need to add one more step now all the hair particles are standing perpendicular to the surface of the sphere we need some randomness for that go to physics open there you can see an option called force open that increase brownian value by default it will be zero increase brownian so that we have a little bit of randomness you can see that the hairs are forming some random orientation this is before let brownian equal to zero when you increase the brownian you can see that they are standing apart and that is how you create the structure for the less crystalline one duplicate the structure go to particle settings and add a new particle system click this icon so that the particle system now will be considered as a new one if you make any change on this one it will be affected on both right like this we want both of them to be independent so click on this and click on this setting called new particle system and now if you change the value it will change without affecting the other one change the number to 400 now you see that this has a lot of hairy like structure which is nothing but this one here you can see a lot of hairy structure this one has less hairy structure that's how you create this kind of material using hair particle system so this was very easy to do initially you added a sphere added a particle system and changed that to hair and we added children interpolated children and we increased the display amount here and also we added clumping so that it clumps together and then we added a little bit of brownian motion to the hair particles under physics for that you need to remember advanced option should be turned on now let me quickly show how we created this material that you can see here we have a really interesting gradient on this hair strands uh, changing from purple to pink right select your object go to material properties click new so that it will have a new material expand this timeline window change that from timeline to shader editor we have a node tree here select this one principal bsdf simply delete that press x now we need to change the viewport to viewport shading so that we can see the materials okay here add a color ramp shift a search type ramp r a m p so that you can see color ramp so we'll get an idea what this will be used for we need one more node called hair info shift a type hair in the search box so you can see the first one called hair info connect this color output of color ramp to the surface and connect this intercept of the hair info to the fac input of the color ramp just click and drag so that you will be able to connect now you can see an interesting gradient happening here if you click on this slider and move this you can see that the gradient that you are seeing here is directly applied on top of the strands you can also change the colors select this slider and click on this box you can increase the brightness here and choose a color that you are happy with and you can change the next color by selecting the next slider and change the color here that's how you create the gradient you can do that for the next one as well add a new material and change the colors for that 
Okay, that's very easy to do. I hope you learned something new about hair particle system. Be creative with the hair particle system. You can really do magic with particle system in general. Also, I have used the same technique for creating different kinds of uh, nanomaterial. So we will be sharing that in the future videos. And we have very exciting things to talk about. I will be very happy to help you learn Blender so that you can communicate your research effectively. See you in the next video.